first integral of the second partial derivative of the third Maxwell equation of the Lagrangian operator gives the supremum of 24.52 and an infimum of 14.32. Oh, hey there, folks. Today, we're going to be talking about tension force. Now, we've got something amazing for you today, and that's an experiment about how tension force works. Now, as you can see, right here, I've got a mic attached to me. That mic has some tension, but there's some more to tension. Let's go ahead and check it out on this blackboard right here. On this blackboard, we've got an experimental setup. We've got two trees outlined in white. We've got two ropes, two separate ropes outlined in yellow, each with a different tension, tension one and tension two. And these ropes are at an incline to the horizontal, one at 20 degrees to the horizontal and one at 30 degrees. And our block in the middle is two kilograms. The question is, what is the tension in each rope, AKA what is T1? And what is T2? The key formula to use here, folks, is F equals MA. Can you, can you use that formula to your advantage to find what the tension in each of these ropes is? Now let's go ahead and check out the actual experiment, which is behind this big black blackboard. Okay, so if we come over to the back here, here's our experimental setup. Hopefully you can see this. So what do we have here? Well, as you can see, we've got tree number one. And if you look over here, we've got tree number two. We've got rope number one, rope number two, and we've got the bird box. Okay, so let's look over here. And the bird box weighs two kilograms. So this is two kilograms. And this rope here is at an angle of 20 degrees to the horizontal. This rope here is at an angle of 30 degrees to the horizontal. Question is, what is the tension on rope one and rope two? Good luck, and let's check out the math. So let's talk about tension. What's our experimental setup? Here it is. So here's what we have, right? We've got two trees and we've got an object suspended on two ropes tied to the tree. So our object weighs two kilograms and we've got two ropes, one inclined at 20 degrees, one inclined at 30 degrees. What's the question? Question is, can you find the tension in each of these ropes, T1 and T2? How do we start this problem? Okay, so to solve our problem, I'm gonna start by simplifying our diagram right here. So let's send it over here and let's go ahead and draw a simpler version of our diagram. It's gonna be acting down with a force of mg, so that's gonna be two times 10 for a total of 20 newtons. Okay, that's gonna be the weight of our box. What else do we have? Well, we have our two ropes pulling in opposite ways. So let's go ahead and decompose those forces as well. We have one rope pulling in this direction and one rope pulling in this direction. And if we decompose these diagonal vectors, what are we gonna get? Well, for our first rope, T2, we can decompose it into two components, the x component, t2x, and the y component, t2y. For our second component, for our second rope, t1, we can decompose it into the y component, t1y. The net force in the x direction is gonna be zero, stable in the horizontal direction, as well as in the vertical direction. It's not moving in the vertical direction. And now I can start using this to my advantage. Advantage, what are the forces in the horizontal direction? T2. This is gonna be T2x. T1x is equal to T2x. And why are they equal? Well, they have to be equal because the box is not moving in the horizontal direction. Okay, so now, what is T1x? Well, you can use trigonometry, right? T1x is gonna be whatever T1 is, but cosine of the angle. What's our angle? Zoom in, our angle is 20 degrees. So I can say that T1x is gonna be T1 cosine 20 degrees. And for T2, I can say T2x is T2 cosine 30 degrees, cosine 30 degrees. Okay, so now I have one system of equations. I have one equation for my pair. What about my other system of equations coming from this stability uh, equation? Well, if we have no forces, no net force in the vertical direction, what does that mean? That means the forces have to balance out. That means T1y and T2y have to add up to the weight of the box, okay? So if T1 and T2y have to add up to the weight of the box, what can we say? We can say T1y plus T2y has to equal the weight of the box. And what's the weight of the box? Weight of the box is 20 newtons. And so what is T1y? T1y is as simple as T1 sine of 20 degrees. So we can go ahead and write this over here. It is T1 sine of 20 degrees plus what is T2y? T2y is just gonna be T2 sine of 30 degrees, sine 
of 30 degrees. And all of this is going to equal the weight of the box since it's not moving in the vertical direction. So this is equal to 20. Okay, 20 newtons. Okay, so great. So now we are almost done. We're almost done, and why is that? Well, now we can substitute, right? If I go ahead and look over here, I can isolate T1. You see this? I can isolate T1, and then I can substitute that back into this equation. So let's do that. If I isolate T1 over there, what am I going to get? I'm going to get this. T1 is equal to what? It's going to equal T2 cosine 30, T2 cosine 30, divided by cosine of 20. And now that I know what T1 is in terms of T2, I can go ahead and plug that in for this variable here, okay? So let me do that. I'm gonna plug that in over here, and I'm gonna use the color white. So I'm gonna say that instead of T1, I'm gonna write T2. Now, you're gonna use this calculator, you're gonna use your calculator to find T2 because we have only one variable now in our equation. If you have one variable, that's very simple, right? So what is T2 gonna be? If you put this into your calculator, plug in cosine 30, cosine 20, sine 20, sine 30, you're gonna get that T2 is 24.5 Newtons. That's the tension in rope two. Now you're wondering how do we find the tension in rope one? Well, remember, we express T2 and T1s in terms of each other. So we can go ahead and substitute. Since we know T2 is 24.5, plug that in here. So you're gonna get what? 24.5 cosine of 30 is what? Well, sine of 30 is a half. Cosine of 30 has to be root three over two divided by cosine of 20. Nobody knows that. And if you go ahead and plug this in into your calculator, you'll get your final answer, which is 22.7. 22.7 newtons. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the tension on rope one. Here's the tension on rope two, 24.5. Thanks for watching this episode. We'll check you out next time. Sponsored by Brilliant.org. The ambition plus MKO plus scaffolding equal learning. Excuse me. We believe anyone can learn anything. That's why our motto is memorization is a crime. And that's why we partnered with Brilliant. Brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to E equals MC squared. Barry Science Lab and Brilliant is your MKO and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.